Hello everyone, here I am again. You know, this platform of short little videos is just not really holding up for me anymore. It's hard for me to continue on because really everything I have to say is deeper than what I could fit into a video. Um, okay. This thing that we have going on here in the world called confusion um, is a result of the human race considering that the solution to the problem comes from them when actually it's the problem that comes from them and the solution comes from the Almighty. Um, we are actually the problem. We cause all of our own problems. Um, the human race thinks that we are problem solvers. And so we go out of our way to solve problems when all we are actually doing is creating problems. Um, this is all over the place in every realm and every spectrum in everything that we do because we think we are the, the, the solution to the problem. As we go to solve problems, we're actually creating problems. Um, instead of going to our Heavenly Father, the Almighty Creator, to discover that there really is no problem whatsoever, the problem was with us the whole entire time. That's everything. That's science, that's, you know, uh, engineering, social engineering, uh, medicine, everything. I mean, we, by always trying to solve the problem, we actually are the ones who are creating the new, the new problem, the worst problem. The problems just keep getting worse because the solutions are never the solutions. They're actually the cause of the problem. Um, and, uh, well, that's all about to be done with, um, all the way through, <clears throat> excuse me, like religions, um, like we're going to be done with, with those things too. Like the solution to our problems was never going to be answered by religions. It's not the answer to the problem. So, um, like this is something that's been fought over for generations and generations. Who's got the right God and who's got the right rituals and the right holidays and the right court systems and the right soldiers. And it's, it's the wrong way of looking at it. And I'm going to solve that like once and for all, like, one thing Christ didn't do, proving Christ wasn't God, this is just a son of God, one of many sons of God's, of God, um, like the sons of God took the daughters of men, making the daughters of men some kind of trophy, but definitely kind of stating that the sons of God were plural, are plural, that Christ isn't the only son. Christ is the only obedient son. It's more like that. Anyway, with Christians having turned Jesus into God himself, and uh, it seems like, well, the Jews, they don't really worship the God that got them out of Israel, but they worship the God um, shrouded in darkness the second time Moses went up the mountain after he'd already shattered the original commandments. When he came down with his new commandments, that's the God that the Jews worship, not really the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but the God of Moses. See, it's like a different God. It just is, or Christ would have never been sent. Anyway, Christ himself never solved the one problem that we still face today, and that is, who's got the right God? I have the right God. 
I'm here to prove that, and I'll be the last man standing to actually prove that. Because, well, the Jehovah's Witnesses, they actually worship God, not Christ. Even though I don't, I, I really can't handle Jehovah or Jehovah. It's not my, it's not, that's not my name that I would ever choose to use for the Almighty Creator, our Heavenly Father. Nevertheless, that is a religion that has separated the Almighty Creator from the Son as two individual things, and most of the rest of Christianity worships the Son as its God, which is incorrect. Um, anyway, all these religions and arguments over belief and disbelief well i'm here to solve that see what i mean once and for all that's that's solved i'm the one that solves that christ didn't solve that muhammad didn't solve that moses definitely didn't solve that like i am living proof of it i've already proven it to those who have ears to hear and eyes to see should be pretty obvious. Unfortunately, it's going to have to be proven to the doubting Thomases that need holes to feel that. And uh, until we've gotten there, well, that's kind of still my objective. It's kind of, even though I've already proven it beyond a reasonable doubt, I haven't proven it to those who are blind so I press on trying to continue it uh, eventually I'll get there and well I mean there'll be probably a lot of people who die before I actually have proven it to the whole entire world but eventually I'll have proven it to the whole entire world of those who can have survived up until that point and then there'll be no more question whatsoever um, Uh, you know what? I know this is short, but the next thought is a, like a totally whole another video. But I think I'm just going to end it at that. I mean, the winning hand is the guy who proves it all, right? You know what I mean? Because it really just comes down to information. And that's really what it all, it just correct information, like the truth. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Because... The human race continues to let the human race down by always working with a lie or stacks of lies. And you, we all, as one, as a human race, as a whole, we fail and we fail and we fail because we're continuing to build upon something that's not truth all the time. Even the Christians, even the Jews, even the Muslims. You're, you're basing your life, your whole entire everything on a foundation that's like a rug that's just going to be yanked out from underneath you and it's about ready to be yanked out from underneath you I'm the one yanking it out from underneath you the hard floor that's underneath that rug that's the real deal the rug you're on is going to be yanked out from underneath you you're working with a false you know it's just no good and since I have like deadlines to reach this is all going to happen really quick Love you guys. I'll catch you later.